Faces in iPhoto uses facial recognition to help you organize your photos by the people in the pictures. To start using faces, you tell iPhoto who is who in your photos. First, select a photo that includes the face of a friend or family member, someone who appears in a lot of your pictures. Then click the Name button. Now type in names for the people in the photo. Once you're done with the photo, you can use the arrow buttons to move to the next photo. If iPhoto recognizes one of the people that you've named, it will suggest the name, and if the suggestion is correct, just click the check mark. Once you've shown iPhoto a few faces, click Done. Now click on the Faces icon to switch to the Faces view iPhoto displays a single snapshot on a corkboard for each person that you've named. To find more photos of any of these people, just double-click a snapshot. At the top are the photos which you just named. Down below are other pictures that iPhoto thinks might include the same person. Click Confirm Name to quickly verify iPhoto suggestions. Just click on each matching photo to confirm it. You can also drag select to confirm a whole batch of photos at once. If the match isn't correct, click on it again to reject it. This feedback helps iPhoto do a better job of recognizing the person's face and will allow it to suggest more possible matches. You may find that in some pictures, there are faces that iPhoto hasn't detected. This is often because someone's back is turned or their face is somehow obscured. If this happens, click the Add Missing Face button. Then, position and resize the box around the missing face, click Done, and type in the person's name. Once you've added people to the Faces corkboard, you can arrange the snapshots in any order you want, and you can set the key photo for any name by skimming the snapshot and pressing the space bar to set a new key photo. Once you start using faces, it'll only take a few clicks to create slideshows, books, calendars, and cards that include the best shots of your friends and family.